I, I majors we're talking about? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I do have a comment. Uh, and it relates to B2, which, and I, I've raised this issue before, and I'll raise it again because uh, it's, a, uh, it's, it's, it's a serious problem. Uh, the, it, it deals with how, how um, uh, majors, the, the discretion which is given to the CDS director to treat majors as minors. I, I, I don't, I, I can see situations where that might arise, and I, and I don't object to, to the CDS director making that decision. I do object to there being a lack of articulated standards to guide that decision, so that the public knows what factors are being looked at, and so there can be a determination, and so that the BOCC knows what to look at, um, um, uh, uh, in, um, in, you know, in, in, in making a decision, and so that there's a uh, uh, a way to figure out whether you know discretion is, is an exercise process. Um, I've suggested standards a number of times, suggested the same standards, and I'll suggest them again. And you know where to find them. Yeah. Um. Uh, you know, we... Um, and, and, I, and I have to say, this could be, if, if, if that's not fixed, I don't know that I can go to, to approve it. Okay. Well, this is, what I, this is what I suggest, and not quite the same thing. I looked to the, I actually did it at Grant Thayer's suggestion, looked at the rezoning regulations, okay. and, and tried to build on those. And, and um, in my September 16th memo, uh, suggested that, um, you know, you, you, you allow this to happen, so long as no portion of the facility was within a private subdivision and that the facility wasn't an open pit for producer to flow that water. And then looking at things like the size of the facility, the number of residential lots within 500 feet, the impact on surrounding land uses. I mean, it sounds like a similar kind of just general stuff. The potential impact of the facility on the provision of public services. And I listed 10 things. Now, did those, why do those have to be in regulation, and why can't those be internal documents that guide us on how we do our jobs every day? Because you're saying we're going to exercise discretion, and you have to, you, there should be a regulation that requires, the L, just as there are in the PUD regulations, that requires what you look at in making the determination. And what it means you do it is you say, okay, here's the size of, you just go down the checklist. And, and it's a very common... Um, uh, 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 kind of um, construct to see in regulations where, where discretion is granted to an administrative agency. It used um, to be oversight. It, well, it, it allows oversight to take place because you can say, okay, and, 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 and since there is discretion there, so long as you're exercising it rationally and actually considering these, um, these elements, you know, your, the, the discretion, your, your discretion, as long as your director, would be given some deference. Uh, but you have to consider each of these, and they have to be done rationally. And, and uh, you know, there's nothing, as I say, there's, I, I have a lot of experience with regulations, there's nothing unusual about this approach. Um, uh, but if, 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 if I don't see this here, or something like it, there may be a way to improve it. I'm not saying this is the only way to go, but nobody suggested anything better. And um, I just see, see, see the same uh, deficient uh, provision be circulated through each of these drafts. So that's got to be fixed. Well, it doesn't have to be fixed, but I'm not going to vote for it. It's not fixed. 